You're watching Tommy Talk with Izzy Miller on Tommy TV. This is a Tommy TV special presentation. I'm Izzy Miller and I'm here with Lizzie Schaefer. Thanks for being with me here today. It's great to be here, Izzy. So Lizzie and I have grown up with each other and I watched her evolve throughout the years and showing cattle with her family. She came to do a speech um, in fourth grade with our class and she gave a speech before she left uh, to go to another state to present that. And um, we're through high school together and I've just seen how much she's grown. So what did you win today, Lizzie? I won National Agri-Science Fair Division Three Animal Systems. Which is a huge deal, right? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. That's so amazing. So what was the process that led you to this point? So actually about a year ago I started this project and then after I created it I had to fill out a really long rigorous application and I also had to make a backboard and do some videos to get to this point. So I also had to go through sections and then I had to go to districts and then I finally got to go to state and I won state and then after that I got to advance to nationals and my project was selected as a national finalist which means that I was in the top 10 and then about two weeks ago I got notified that I was in the top three and I would have to be in the session to be on RFD TV and I just now found out that I was the winner of that. That's so amazing. So as everybody at home, they don't really understand how much work is put into this. You started this a year ago, which I think is insane. And you put in so much work and dedication to get to where you are now. Yes, this project actually started a year ago, but I had a project before this that was part of this as well. And that started two years ago, and that was a project I did with my brother last year. And Eric and I actually were fortunate enough to win that division last year. Yeah, we interviewed you last year for one of our Tornado Watch segments about um, what you did over there. And that was so amazing, too. And it's so cool to see where you are now. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about your project, I have people a summary of what it was. Yes, yeah, so my project was actually having to do with embryo transfer in bovine. So whenever we create these show cattle, we're trying to get the best quality for in the shortest amount of time we possibly can. So what things what producers are doing right now is they're taking oocytes off of cattle's uh, we're taking oocytes off of cattle and we're fertilizing them in a petri dish with the semen to produce high quality offspring and a lot of them in one year. So basically, my project was on seeing. Well, whenever you do oocytes, there's different quality grades. So there's a quality grade 1, quality grade 2, and quality grade 3. So when the embryologist takes these oocytes off of the cows, they're, the different quality grades are how viable they are. So quality grade 1 means that they're very likely to take in the recipient cow, and they'll probably they have a very high percentage of producing an offspring. Quality grade 2 has a very low percentage of producing offspring, and it may not be accepted by the recipient cow. So usually the embryologists and the farmers just want to throw these away because there's a low chance that they can take. So my project was on seeing if it was worth inserting the quality grade 2s into recipient cows because they'd be likely to be female progeny. So at first I thought that it didn't matter which quality grade that there was. So I thought no matter what quality grade there was, there'd always be, they'd have the same amount of female and female progeny. And actually in the end, I found out that quality grade twos had a higher percentage of female progeny than quality grade ones. So whenever quality grade one cattle were born, they were usually bulls. And when quality grade two cattle were born, they were usually fem females. So I found out that that was the result of my project, and I filled out my application and I got to this point. Wow, that's a lot that goes into one project. A lot of science behind that. That's amazing. Um, so can you tell us how FFA, being an FFA, has, has helped you through this and kind of helped you prepare for this project? I've actually always wanted to be in this blue corduroy jacket that I'm wearing right now, and I finally got this opportunity in eighth grade. And whenever I was in eighth grade, I was still, still at Pena with you, Izzy, and um, I actually got to compete in eighth grade with a science fair project that I also got to go to nationals with, and I was very excited for that. And throughout my years, I've just developed and continually gotten more involved in FFA, thanks to my mom, who's the ag teacher, and my other two ad advisors. So I've really worked hard to get to this point, and FFA has taught me so many different life skills that I'll need to use in my future. It's great to have somebody that supports you through this. Well, do you have anything else you'd like to add? Um, I'm just excited that I got this opportunity, and I wanted to thank my ag teachers, Mrs. King, Mrs. Parks, and Mrs. Schaefer, for all they've done for me. Well, we're all really proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching, and I'm Izzy Miller. You're watching Tommy TV.